Hey everybody, it's Settler38. We have another box for opening. This is one I've kind of referred to a few times since I've had to wait for it so long. Hopefully, it'll be as fun opening it and cracking into what this all entails as the wait will have uh, made it seem. So we're going to crack this open, run through each of the things in it, and hopefully get a big hit. This is one of those mystery boxes that I feel I might have sniped off of somebody. Apologies if you are that person. I don't know if that was, I don't know, John Sports Cards. Uh, I know Jabs has done some of these style things and probably countless other people. But let's crack into what I got here. I think this is about 30 bucks plus another... 15 shipping is a little pricey. Let's see if we can get in here a little bit. Uh, let's try to sneak this back. We are guaranteed 12 factory sealed packs here. 35 bucks, $10.75 shipping and handling. And I've got a whole sticker on here. Looks like we've got some Donross. We've got some Upper Deck, some Fleer, which I'm excited. I've never opened, like, kind of a more modern Fleer. My experience has been the early, early 90s. Some Victory, which I have never opened. And Upper Deck as well. Bit pricey, four times the value. Probably not going to pull much of anything. But, I don't know. Seeing some players that I recall from when my whole period of baseball watching the first time ended be nice so i ended about 90 97 98 maybe championship collection these collections of boxes uh cards packs what have you have been running up up and up there's another version that i see often on uh ebay that's going for like 250 bucks for just cards from 1998 1999 this one I don't know if it was just late at night or just in a fallow period for eBay auctions. I felt that this was worth it. Probably won't be when I crack them, but for the spectacle of things. Now the Past is Alive has done these as well, because I remember him struggling to crack open how they've attached these to the actual box. So let's try to do this without too much damage. We have a nice spread here. I don't know how much of it you can see. I still got that curviness. How are we going to remove these? There we go. Yeah, these are the ones that end up getting glued onto the pack, uh, the box, whatever have you. And end up carrying the packs. I felt the Upper Deck 2002 break open when I tried. Alright, getting the hang of it, perhaps. Until this fan club doesn't end up playing nice at all. All right. We're going to start with Donruss Fan Club 2002. After I break into these four packs, we'll go to the next panel of cards. Who are we getting into? Mark Mulder. Definitely right off the bat, someone that is... Oh man, these are all stuck together too. That's delightful. Someone I recall from back in the day. These fan club cards are pretty basic in how they look, but Donruss typically does this. There's a little bit of paper transfer, at least at the first card. Woody Williams definitely isn't getting much of that paper transfer to be an issue. Wade Miller. 
Oh, that is a die cut card. Fantastic. There's a little bit of a indentation at the bottom, but not too bad, not numbered. This will put that on up here. Raphael for call. Fairly early in his career. And Tony Armas Jr. Let's see about those being short printed rookies, but I don't know how many of those we got as rookies. 2002 Upper Deck Series 2. Authentic Mark McGuire memorabilia cards. We're looking at eight cards per pack, so I'm guessing also it's a very thin sort of memorabilia card. We're not going to go and have anything resembling a patch or anything like that. And I have to get into some scissors, which are not anywhere to be found. Very classy opening tonight. Playing at the seat of our pants. Try to do it this way. There we go. Oh, upper deck with those met uh, metallicized packs. They're not as bad as like 91 or whatever, but yuck. We don't have paper loss, I think. Bernie Williams off the bat. So great. Yankees player, a little bit of stickiness, very late in his career. Michael Tucker. Omar Dahl. Jeffrey Hammonds. I don't know if these are actually sticking together as much as they are just kind of thicker. Jim Tomei. With, uh, oh, this is a card that is stuck together. Season highlights for Barry Bonds. Rocking the shaved head. Brian Roberts. Final card of the pack. Pascucci. Star rookie for the Expos. This might hold something better. Fleer Tradition. This has 10 cards in it. It feels fairly thick. Could just chalk it up to there being more cards in this pack than anyone else here we've opened so far, but we might be lucky. These are some classic looking cards, as is Traditions Tradition, Kip Wells. Has that kind of faux 60s look to it. All the information you can ever want, year by year stats. Jose Cruz, Bill Hall. Jason Schmidt. Always remember him with the Pirates. Grady Sizemore, so definitely getting some names from the era. Pedro Feliz. We have a standout, a Chipper Jones. This is like our thing most resembling a hit this first time around. Not numbered, but it has a little bit of nice foil to that. And this puts our pack, the latest pack being... 2005. Oh, this is just a, a blank card. Russell Branion, Jeff Bloom, Bobby Crosby. All right, so Chipper, not going to argue with. It's got a little bit. The standouts, if you see, has a little bit of embossing around his body. All right, so 2002 Upper Deck Series 1. We kind of we did passingly for Series 2. This is definitely opening up easier. Almost have this little bit of glue that's stuck on this. The cards don't feel like they're stuck together this time either, so that is another positive. All right, this starts us off with Ricky Henderson. Derek Lee. Javier Vasquez, Tyler Houston. It's always great seeing baseball and opera deck together. Vinny Castilla, 
Joe Creedy. Oh, man, here we go. Griffey with the Reds. Look at that nice card on the back as well. It just looks like it's part of the base set, but still, anytime you can pull a Griffey out of this. Superstar Summit, we have a Sammy Sosa. This is a subset here, yeah. SS1. All right, so we're starting to heat up just a bit with these packs. That's good. I thought we'd completely strike out with anybody of current baseball relevancy. Let's go to pack side number two. Um, let's try to do this without destroying the cards like we did last time. We did all right. Oh, that one was easy. Thank you, MVP. And power up. All right, so that uh, right package was a little bit easier to get out. This time around, we have Upper Deck 2003, Power Up 2004, also Upper Deck 2002, and Victory from 2002. Let's open it up Victory because, well, like I said, I have never actually seen Victory. There's somebody that's at a local... Uh, antique store that has a victory standee or sign. It always just interests me because I never had a chance to open these cards. There's not much to this. Very base look to it, but still fun. Brian Lawrence. Ordonez. Glendon Rush. We got a gold card. Russ Ortiz, is this just one per pack? This does not seem to be numbered. Pretty legit card from the era. Troy O'Leary, Rusty Greer, Todd Zeal. I know Todd Zeal is still playing this late. Jeez. 13 years at this point. Calvin Murray. Paul LaDuca, and Ron Coomer. 2002 Upper Deck. Find Game U Souvenir Cards. Ichiro Inserts. Let's try to pop this guy open since so I haven't been showing these packs. It's got their little rundowns. They've got decent enough odds here. 1 in 12 for the Ichiro ones. The numbered ones are the go-to chase cards from this set, so we're not going to see those with a single pack, but we can always cross our fingers and hope for something great, right? These cards look stellar. I might have to open a box of these if they're not too much. Looks like we got a bit of a ding. I don't know if that was me or the shipping or the fact this has been sitting around for 14, 15 years. Craig Biggio. Again, another one of these is like, I didn't know he was still playing by this time. Mark Burley, fairly early in his career. Luis Martinez, Wade Miller. This card is sticking. Oh, nope, it's just kind of there. We have Joe Mays, Richie Sexton. Sexton. It doesn't sound right. Sexton. I don't think I've ever had to say his name. Alfonso Soriano, so huge players of the era, and they mean easily to end things. We have a little fantasy baseball sluggers card, so that's fun. All right, so we got the kids set here, Power Up 2004. This looks like it's a challenge sort of game, a collectible card game. There are parallels here. I don't know if you can even see that. There is a page and a half of information just on the... Back to that pack alone. Let's delve on in. And see what we got going on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Noma. Lime green. I don't think I've seen many cards that are that color. Ten points here. Mark Pryor. That does have a little bit of foil on. I missed last time. Jim Edmonds. 
Let's say swag bucks. You got different numbers on the side of these. Smegs, mucks, I don't know. Scapegoat, I can't read any of these words. Gary Sheffield. She yeah, Sheffield. We have Roy Oswald. Fourth year card, Sammy Sosa. Late in the career, Paul Nevin. We do have a I'm missing a card in here too, but Vernon Wells insert. This is Shining Through. Pretty cool look. This is just the instructions, I believe. This is 50 points. Where all the other cards are 10 points here. Your base cards. Uh, your heavy hitter, your slammer, if this was Pogs, would be about 50 points or more, I guess, if you add a very strong player there. Ended up getting some pretty cool stickers from Mr. Sexton. Again, scratch off. UpperDeckKids.com was a thing at the point. All right, we'll go and put that up, I guess, to replace Wade Miller. Not a ton of value to that set, but fun. Okay, so this is, uh, what is this, 2003 40 man. This is $2 a pack, so endorsement autograph cards are part of this. One in 500 are the odds here. This is weird that Upper Deck didn't have much in the way of things to say about this. Okay. Bartolo Colon. Dealt to the White Sox. Has a pretty cool feel to this. Like a very uh, rough paper, like traditional style for um, Upper Deck. Limo Pena, 40 man. Another Barry Bonds. That I guess in the hit pile. Mendy Lopez. Todd Helton. Sean Wooden. Eduardo Perez. Mike Timlin. What is this? Darren Erstad. We've got a bit of Let's see, pick this up. Yeah, like a record groove sort of thing going on. That doesn't seem to have anything special. And this is card number 857. John Leicher. Leicester. Wow, I am doing this very light. It's odd how classical, uh, at least in terms of upper deck, that set looks. Very cool. All right, so that puts us, I believe, at our last four packs. One of our few uh, tops packs. Only tops packs? Let's get that nasty old piece of cardboard out of the way. Got a lot of cheap packs right in the middle here. We have Upper Deck First Pitch 2005. I have Griffey on that. Upper Deck Ovation. This does look maybe a little pricier. 1 in 24 for game jersey cards. Fleer Hot Prospects from 03. And then Tops from 04. Just a six card pack. Okay, so we'll do this first pitch pack. Doesn't look like it has too much in the way of additional information, so we'll just open that. Corey Patterson. Is she... Ugath Urbina, 
Star Rookies of Joey Gathbright. And Star Rookies, Justin Hermano. Hermano. Hot Prospects from 03. From Clear. Let's see what we got listed. There is a bit of additional information here. We do have some sort of weird card. I don't know if that's just another spacer or something similar from Fleer at this point. This is hard. Barry Zito. Really? Very nice. First round, 1999. All right. I have to put that. I mean, unless I'm misunderstanding the cards, that is a big hit here. Miguel Tejada for the prospects. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a uh, Bowman where you've got established players or what. Guard free agent 93. What? I'm so confused at this. Oh, well. Soriano. It must just be like Bowman where there's people that were around for a long time. Yeah. Okay. And my hopes so. up. They have some piece of cardboard. Palmero and Todd Helton. I don't know the point of that set. I'm just very confused there. All right, well, yeah, let's do ovation here. This will get us back into a kind of clear headspace. We did get an Ichiro Superstar Spotlights card here. That is very cool. Put that next to Chipper Jones. Moisés Salou. A-Rod. Rangers. They've got a stamp on this card. They've got different impressions in each of these. It's pretty cool. This one has a circle on Moisés Salou. And there is a Texas Rangers Baseball Club impression on this. Very fancy here. Mark McGuire, another superstar of Spotlights. What is this one? J.D. Drew, We've got the whole Cardinals name listed over here. <laughs> Very hastily folded up, cut out sort of thing on that pack. Final pack of the night, Tops 04. This looks like it came from some box of some sort. It says 99 cents. It's weird it doesn't even have a UPC on it. I wasn't collecting an 04, so I don't know exactly what that would have meant. All right. Very cool design on that. Shane Halter. Yeah, Jack Wilson. Future stars, Granky and Gobble. All right. That is cool. Let's get that one sleeved up. Wow. I think it could have been better there as if we got a, that would have been a gold back then. Gold out of 2004. There we go. Last few cards of the pack. Little postseason highlights card. So that looks kind of basic. I don't know about that. J.D. Drew yet again. And we have Chan Ho Park to end things. All right, so we opened up 12 packs of cards here. Got a lot of base. I mean, a lot of players that were big at the time. Fun variation here. It's hard to find Fleer at a good price. I never get a chance to open it up for the channel. Ended up getting some of my favorites from when I was a kid, whether that was somebody like... Mr. Sammy Sosa here. 
or we get these kind of off the wall sort of cards like that Wade Miller or even something like that Darren Erstad. The biggest hits tonight, of course, we got that Ishiro, we got the standouts from Fleer Tradition from 05, we got Griffey, and the Granky. Look at that card. Fantastic. Now, again, it was about 35 bucks, 10, 12, whatever shipping, 5 bucks tax. I don't know if I got my money back. But hey, it was a fun rip. I got to open up some cards from when I wasn't collecting in the slightest. This has been Setla38. And we'll be opening up something else here in the future. We're going to end with Mr. Bonds. Have a fantastic night.